Hi students, welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. In this video lecture, we will learn the OSI model and functions of its layers as it forms an important topic from which basic networking questions are usually asked. First, we will discuss what is open system interconnection model is. International Standards Organization ISO in 1997 proposed the OSI model. It was done so that national and worldwide communication systems can be designed which are compatible to each other. The devices across various nations are made by different companies. So there are compatibility issues. So that's why this OSI model came into picture. The OSI model is consists of seven layers architecture. The layer one, physical layer. It activates, maintains and deactivates the physical connection. Although transmission of each bit of data is the responsibility of this layer, but it's not that reliable as there is no error detection mechanism at this layer. Network design is an integral part of this layer. The layer 2 is data link layer. It provides a reliable transmission of packets using the services of physical layer. Major functions are as follows. The first one, framing. It breaks the input data into frames, frame sizes and boundaries are also taken care by this layer. Acknowledgement. From receiver to source confirming, the frame received without error or with error. Retransmission. Frame is transmitted if source fails to receive acknowledgement. The sequence numbering. Its purpose is to acknowledge which frames was received. Error detection. Frames may be lost, damaged or duplicated, leading to errors. Detection is on a link to link basis. Flow control. Necessary for a fast transmitter to keep pace with a slower one. So these were the various functions. Layer 3. Layer 3 is network layer. Basic functions of this layer are routing and congestion control. It routes the signal through different channels routes thereby acting like a network controller. It divides the outgoing messages into packets and incoming packets into messages for higher layers. Please note that network layer doesn't guarantee that packet will reach its intended destination. And the fourth one is transport layer. So this layer decides if data transmission should be parallel path or single path. Other major functions are multiplexing or demultiplexing using port number, fragmentation, reassembling, sequencing, error control, flow control. The layer 5, session layer. This layer is responsible for establishing, managing and terminating sessions between end-user applications. Authentication, authorization are other services provided by this layer. Sessions are usually implemented on web browsers and also it works in tandem with transport layer. The layer 6 is the presentation layer. Data is formatted at this layer before passing down to other layers on sender's side. Formatting functions include compression, encryption, compatible character code set. It serves as a data translator for the network and sometimes called syntax layer. And the last layer is application layer. This layer interacts with the user and uses applications. Real traffic data is generated from this layer. That may be a browsing request from HTTP, 
a command from telnet or a file download request from ftp ftp that is file transmission protocol it only standardizes communication but depends on transport layer for establishing data transfer channels i hope you like this video i request you to watch all the computer awareness videos so these are important videos that important for banking examinations very important for the other competitive examination you should go through osi model i'm sharing a link at the bottom of this video so that you can go through it these are simple notes on computer awareness till then have a nice day take care bye